Hey you guys, it is Charlie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today is Saturday, which is the subscriber Saturday. I did put up a poll on Tuesday asking whether or not you would like to see a um, antique thrift store haul. And there was a lot of votes on my YouTube and on my Instagram. So we are going to be doing that. We do have a lot of items that I did pick up on Tuesday so I'm super excited to show you guys and I was thinking of just doing like a downward view and show y'all the items and if y'all like this view let me know if not I can do a face-to-face -face. but anyway so let's get started make sure you go and subscribe down below and let me know if you like any of these other thrift videos reselling videos I'm very very new to it so I'm not an expert if you are a reseller on here and you are subscribed to my channel, let me know down below and I will link some YouTube channels down below. There is the American Arbitrod, which is the first person that I actually discovered on TikTok that got me into reselling him and his wife, who is Lady Arbitrod. They do a lot of TikToks and they do have a YouTube channel that they post I think probably maybe once or twice a week, depending, but they do do a lot of TikToks and are very informative and ask ask questions, you guys, because they will answer it for you. They love to help and everything. And also there is the Crazy Lamp Lady. She has been doing it for a couple of years as well. Same as the American Arbitrage. They've been doing like 10 plus years. But they are both amazing. The Crazy Lamp Lady, she posts videos after videos on YouTube like probably like two times a day and it's crazy it's very informative she finds some some unique stuff that I will probably never sell on my eBay but they are both awesome and I just wanted to they're probably not going to watch this video but thank you for getting me into reselling super excited about this journey and you know earning an income to pay off debt and everything so we have three stores I'm going to show you we have a vintage marketplace that happens I think twice a year down in the south it's like 30 or so vendors that come and it's anywhere from like modern to vintage stuff so i got two things from there we did go to walmart because they do have their toy clearance deals down to like 75 percent off 50 to 75 percent off so we're going to do a couple of those and then also i did go to my local goodwill so that is what we are going to be doing and then i'm going to show you what i paid for and what I'm probably going to resell it for. I'm not very good at reselling right now. I still have to look at some more prices on different items that other people are selling it for and adjust from there. And then also I'm going to tell y'all what a recent sold item, how much it costs or how much somebody paid for one. So let's just get right on into it. And I just had this just so you won't be looking at a random like desk. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is I did go to a vintage marketplace on Friday and Saturday and I picked up two of these paperweights. Now paperweights that I have read and I have watched a bunch of YouTubes on, they do do really good on eBay. Anywhere between, I want to say $8 to $20 depending on what kind it is. So I got two of the the aquarium fish looking ones and one of them this one was five dollars and this one was seven dollars so i'm going to try to resell them for probably this one probably about eight eight to ten dollars or eight to twelve dollars hopefully and this one which was seven dollars so probably ten to fifteen something like that i'm trying to just make a profit off of that but if it does well it does well um, I don't know. I'm probably going to do auction. I have been doing really good on the auction instead of the buy now. So we'll probably, probably do the auction one and I can link my stuff down below my eBay. So y'all, if y'all want to follow, that would be great. And if not, that's fine. I don't, I don't even want y'all to buy anything because this is a budging channel and I want y'all to budget and put money towards um, stuff like your debt and everything. Don't go and buy stuff from me, to be honest. So next we did go to Walmart and Walmart had their 50 to 70% off clearance deals for toys and everything. So first thing that we picked up, which I am going to do, 
probably in a lot of two. So this is the color reveal. It's the San, San and Sun series. It's series five, so I'm pretty sure series six is coming out. These are originally for almost $5, and they were $2 a piece, so I did pick up two of them. And whenever I looked up the sold comps for this one, it was selling between $9 and $15 which the last sold was $13.99, and that's just for one. I did see where there was a lot, and that sold, no, this is a lot. This is a lot of two, and it sold for $13.99 for two of them. So I predicted probably $9 to $15, and that is including shipping. So the buyer will be buying, um, paying for the shipping as well. The next thing that I got from Walmart was these things, which I'm not sure I'm going to put it in as right now. But I did get the Pink Ranger, the Yellow Ranger and the Pink Ranger. It's the Retro Morphin Power Rangers. Now, these are usually almost $10. It's like $9 and some change. So it's almost $10. And they were on clearance for $8.08. And I have been watching them. And they finally went down to $4.00. So I did pick up two. They didn't have the red or the blue one anymore because people were just picked that up whenever they were only $8. So I picked up the yellow and the pink. Now the pink Power Ranger, I paid $4. Estimated around $8, $8 to $20. And the last sold for just a pink Ranger was $19.99. And then the yellow Power Ranger was $10 to $17. It's how much I'm probably going to resell it for. And the last one sold was $18.99. Now, I did see that somebody posted both of these as a lot, and both of them sold together for $34. So, that is pretty good. I'm not going to, I probably, I don't know, I don't know, I have to look up some statistics to see how much, how many more of these are out there, and if they're going to be, like, reproducing some more, because I don't think so, since they're on clearance, I don't think they're going to be reproducing but who knows. So the last thing that I picked up from Walmart is this Shang, Shang Chi. I haven't even seen it. I love Marvel, you guys. I love it. And have not even seen it at all, which is very surprising to me. So this toy is, it was regularly $19.99. It did go from like $13, $8. So then it finally dropped to $3.50. So I did pick this one up. Um, I'm not going to post this one up right now. There was only four that was sold on eBay recently. And I think that they are probably going to still have a mass production of this. Because there was literally probably 15 or so um, clearance down at my Walmart. So I'm going to hold off on this and not put this on here right now. Maybe in like a month or so. But whenever I check the comps on this pay three dollars and fifty cents estimated about ten ten dollars to seventeen dollars of a resale and the last sold was eleven dollars and ninety nine cents that was literally like february 3rd is whenever it was sold there was another one that was sold i think like january 22nd for like 19.99 like even so that is what i predicted for that so this is everything at the walmart that i got and from the antique shop um let me know down below if you picked up any of these items if you think they're going to be a really good seller maybe maybe not i don't know still still new to it i just literally started like the end of december so the next thing that we got I went to the Goodwill. So the Goodwill that was close to my house, I picked up, how many items did I pick up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items. And I paid $18. I round it because it was like $17 and something cents. And they asked if I wanted a round. And I was like, sure, sure, why not? So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this one. So this is the Boys, Bear, and Friends. Now, I do know, I have seen a couple of the YouTubers that I do watch. They do say that these sell pretty well. And I paid $1.99 and that was literally $2. So it's going to resell for $4 to $7. Um, the recently that was sold was $6.99. So that is this little guy, which is super cute. Clean them up probably a little bit and then post them on my eBay. And it is the to have and to hold. 
I'll just show you that. Okay, and then the next thing that I got, which was pretty cool. So this is the Rainforest Cafe glass, and these are actually some collectibles. This was $2 that I got, and you can see that all the collectibles. I did look on eBay, and they were having, they had... I want to say they had they had the Nashville one and the Chicago one is the one that I instantly saw whenever I um, put this in. So this was two dollars for this glass, and the resale was eight dollars to thirteen dollars, and the last one sold was thirteen dollars. So whenever I say the last one sold, it's literally like I think most of them was around the beginning of February. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to put a lot of prints on it, but I am going to dust it and everything. So it's a rainforest a cafe. It says Orlando on it. So it's like this shape right here. There was no cracks or anything. So that was like one of the major, major tip is to make sure you just look at your stuff very carefully and make sure that there is no chips or scratches or anything like that because there was some cool stuff that I really, really, really wanted but it was shipped and stuff so but yeah so this is the rainforest cafe one which i thought was pretty cool i've never eaten there but i did open it and then I, then I saw that it was orlando which orlando is like known for you know disney they have a rainforest cafe on the animal kingdom property and i think they have one at the disney springs as well so the next thing that i got was this princess cruises coca-cola now coca-cola is a really good brand but i did see a couple of the channels where they said that any of like the cruises or disney disney items do sell really well so i'm going to try my hand i did see this a couple of weeks ago at the goodwill as well maybe a week or two ago and nobody picked it up and i really wanted to pick it up so I saw it today and I was like, well, might as well just give it a shot. If not, we do have a yard sale coming up in March or in a couple of months. So we'll just figure that out. So this is a Coca-Cola tumbler. It's a Princess Cruise one. And I believe whenever I looked it up on eBay, it was the 2017 one. I think it's the 2017 one. But I paid $2 for this. It's going to resell for probably about 10 to 15 dollars and the last one sold was 15 dollars so and then i checked everything to make sure everything um worked so and it's really pretty actually and i mean i would use it if i had a if i really liked tumblers but i don't use tumblers at all so we're not going to do that the next thing that i got was this harry potter mug if you can see it it's the draco mug and it is by this brand and i did look this up my mugs actually sell pretty well i do a lot of disney mugs and i did sell some harry potters there was no like chips or anything so that was good and this one i paid for two dollars and reselling it for ten to twenty dollars last sold was fifteen dollars now when i say that i'm going to resell it for ten to twenty dollars that is only for the buy now if i do do the auction it's going to be like way 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 cheaper so that is yep yeah. so harry potter love harry potter i would actually keep this but i'm actually trying to just keep the disney mugs whenever i go to actual disney in orlando and i actually just go and get a mug so i'm trying to just have disney themed mugs the next thing that i got was actually a pretty good one this is the brand look i see i can't really say it but it's a very popular brand and i paid two dollars for it it says bon appetit now i didn't see the exact one like this but i do know that they are reselling for eight to eighteen dollars there was like one mug and I think it was like a red or just a plain white mug. It wasn't even like a, this is a cappuccino mug. And this was like a plain white mug that sold for $19.99. So I'm going to put it for between $8 to $18 and we'll see how that goes. And this is a 400 milliliter cappuccino cup. So it's 14 ounces. So it's pretty big. And there's no chip or anything, which I'm very surprised. And it's very nice. 
it really is very nice. The next thing that I'm going to do, I have two more things. Now, this one is a risk. <laughs> so I got a, what size are these? These are size six and a half Calvin Klein. I do going to, I mean, I'm going to clean this up a little bit of pretty much. I'm going to clean these um, with alcohol and everything like just little cotton balls and rub them and everything. So this is the Calvin Klein one. And these are kind of like the kind of snake skin scale. And it's pre-owned, of course, and has a Calvin Klein. So there was one of them that looks literally just like this, you guys. Just like this on eBay that sold, I think, on the 4th. And they put it as... So I paid $7.99, so this is a very big risk. The resale is going to be $12 to $20 with the recent sold for $20. And it was an auction, so there was like four bidders and it ended up with like $20 and like 24 cents or something like that. So this is what I picked up. I'm going to clean them up and everything, make them look good, better for whenever I post it. So it's red Calvin Klein six and a half shoes. So if anybody wants these, <laughs> they're six and a half though, you guys. <laughs> All right, so then next, this is actually a really good one. So this is, it would seem just like a plush, just a regular Siberian Husky um, gray and white plush. There's no stain or anything. I paid $2 for it, but look at the brand, you guys. So it is a Toys R Us. So Toys R Us has been out for a couple of years now, probably like three. I don't remember. I took a picture in front of the sign whenever they like shut down. Like Jared and I drove to Toys R Us close by and we took a picture of the sign because it was like out of business now. There's no more. So we did that to, you know, have a little memory and everything. So I was really lucky because this bin, it was a, it was in a bin that just came out. It was like four bins. They literally just willed out. And so I paid $2 for this. And then I have to see my notes, which one I, how much it was. Okay. So I paid $2. The resale value was 15 to $25, which with the last one that was sold was $17.99. There was another one that was sold for $25, but it was back in December, like December 23rd or so. So that is, yeah. So this is going, this is actually my really cool one. I actually do really good with mugs and actually plus plush and toys actually. So that is it. I'm super excited you guys. That is everything that I got and I am just super excited about everything and I am excited about doing this journey and showing y'all like everything that I got for super cheap. And I'm just super excited. So if y'all would like to see probably maybe in the next couple of months, probably about four months or so, and we can visit revisit this video as well later and see what sold, what didn't sold, um, what I should have just kept on the shelf and not risk probably the Calvin Klein's. But <laughs> yeah, so I am super excited about everything. And if y'all would, if y'all want to know my eBay account, then I will link that down below. If you want to follow me, that would be great. If you are new and not on a budget, and if you see anything that you would like, then these items will most likely be in my eBay by probably by the time that you see this. So fingers crossed that it's still there. But anyways, I love you guys and thank you so much for everything that you have done. And be sure, sure to um, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you would like to see any more of these videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye.